Okay, hi people. This uh, video is going to be about electronics, <clears throat> but also kind of about, um, damn, look at this one here. Hold myself up here. How about that? Better angle. Um, about electronics and um, emergency survival. Okay, so electronics and emergency survival. Okay. Um, a long time ago, uh, they came out with uh, these flashlights that uh, are perfectly sealed, you know, from water and, uh, well, I called it a jack light. Because you do that to recharge it. And it had this little uh, battery-like thing that yeah, it was a capacitor. It was a large value capacitor that wasn't very good at holding, uh, you know, a good charge for a long time. And, um, you know, I kind of thought about it. And, uh, you know, this, you know, every time the magnet goes, like if our uh, coil is like right here, every time the magnet goes through the coil, it makes, it makes a little pulse of electricity, which, you know, charges that capacitor. You know, which, you know, was uh, pretty cool. It was a cool little gimmick. But, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, winding a freaking, you know, a little wind thing is, you know, much more, uh, what's it called, uh, efficient. Or at least, uh, you know, it supplies a lot more power for a lot longer. But unfortunately, it's not quite as waterproof as the, the jack light. Anyways, so... Because of that, I made this. It's a servo that's at the back of a little plastic tube. And up in the front of the plastic tube, I have uh, a switch, button switch, and my LED light. You know, which is pretty bright. Uh, in the middle here, you can see uh, those little green cylinders. Those are uh, the batteries. I don't remember what I tore those out of, but they're little nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries, and they're kind of fat, so they ought to be able to hold a good charge for a long time. And uh, inside here, uh, you can't really see it, but there's uh, diodes to uh, you know make the power so it only goes in one direction, so I'm not doing weird shit to my batteries. So, um, <laughs> so that's this. This this was my answer to the jack light, uh, you know, using an LED light. So then, eventually, I found this thing at uh, Harbor Freight Tools. <clears throat> this thing. It's uh, a kind of spotlight. Let's see if we can, okay, right here it's in the 6 LED mode, and right here it's in the, I think it's 16 LED mode. So, anyways, the thing that attracted me to this from Harbor Freight Tools was that it was, you know, a flashlight, and uh, it also has a uh, charging port, you know, which you plug the uh, charger thing in from the wall and, you know, charges it. And while it's uh, charging, the red light is on. And when it's done charging, the green light comes on and, or something. And that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and I thought that since this thing has such a big battery, it has a big, fat, freaking 6-volt gel cell battery inside of it. And uh, it had this, you know, winding thing on the back for charging. And this thing, actually, I opened it up and looked inside of it. And uh, this thing, actually, is a little three-phase generator. It's not just a little motor that they put inside there with a gear train. It's a three-phase generator that has, like, uh, 12 different coils that are inside of this spinning magnetic ring. So that was super cool. So, okay. Now, this is a, uh, a handheld flashlight that uh, has a winding mechanism on the back to uh, recharge the batteries by hand with a handle and it you know this thing spins well you see these three wires 
look at these electromagnets in here and this black stuff inside this uh, metal ring is um, I guess like a ceramic magnet or something that's uh, been charged in different areas and uh, it goes across all these magnets and I don't know shit there's probably I don't know six or nine or twelve <clears throat> magnets throughout this whole thing but anyways these three wires coming out and showing that there's these six diodes right here for rectifying all of this means that this is three phase electricity three phase electricity that's pretty badass that's pretty uh... what's it called efficient when uh... you plug your electric dryer or uh... electric welding machine you know they're usually going to take a 240 volt um, circuit um, power source uh, from the wall which is that um, weird plug that has like three uh, huge prongs on it that are kind of flat and shaped round and weird and sh stuff well that's three phase electricity which is a much more efficient way of making electricity or uh, yeah sending electricity than just regular two wires like this so uh, that enables this little thing to be very uh, compact and uh, lightweight and high quality you know with a low expense and uh, that's cool as hell anyways uh, I'm going to tell you more about this thing in a little bit but uh, I just wanted to show this part of it because I think that's very cool that Harbor Freight Tools made this thing with a three phase <laughs> generator okay goodbye you know in case the battery dies you know you can always wind it really damn fast for a long time and maybe have a heart attack but at least you can charge it up and uh, you know so your light will be able to work <clears throat> now that was pretty cool so I had this idea that I can tap power off of this thing and so you know because it has this huge six volt battery and so I came up with this idea where I went inside of it and you know uh, tapped power and you know so each one of these comes out and goes you know to a connector that can plug in this it's a type K uh, a power connector whatever and um, you know this one you know uh, doesn't have the other connector on the other side but what I was thinking uh, well I've already made one of these but I lost the adapter that plugs into this and then plugs into the other thing okay here's another thing it's my uh, GMRS uh, radio it's supposed to have like a five mile range line of sight whatever I uh, made this little jack that I put on the bottom of it. it has some diodes in there to bring down the voltage and uh, so you know if I had my other you know jack thing like that uh, the adapter I would be able to come from here to there and so I could use this off of that if the batteries die in this and uh, uh, yeah okay and I was also wanting to do that with my GPS so you know one day it'll have you know the adapter thing on the back oh yeah that's that's what I was just thinking about uh, the adapter thing I should take it and somehow tether it onto this thing so that uh, it can just dangle whatever you don't give a shit and then uh, you plug it in whenever you're ready to so that was it it was this and this and I had this other idea to make this other little thing that um, you know was for you know um, emergency situations that uh, makes fire. Uh, what it was going to be is a uh, halogen lamp. Well, actually, the little halogen light bulb itself, that thing. And uh, I was going to. Um, take the halogen light bulb and um, cut it, you know, so that the filament was sticking out, and then I would just drive the filament at a lower voltage so that it won't burn up in the oxygen-rich atmosphere. It'll just heat up enough to be able to stick a uh, piece of paper or something, you know, a little 
little piece of paper you can take and wad up and stick in there and get your tender bundle with your hair your tender bundle you know ready and then you know set that little piece of paper on fire or you know some little piece of you know bush or twig or some crap or grass or whatever and so you know you'd be able to start a fire with this little thing but then I kind of thought about this idea because I've seen so many of these uh, survival shows and these people are you know stranded somewhere you know in the ocean you know on a life raft and sometimes they see a little uh, boat you know way off in the you know distance and it's a little light and you know at night and these people are screaming you know in this life craft and they have no real way to signal these people at this boat or there's an airplane you know whizzing overhead you know and or the people may be in uh, the forest at night and uh, you know there's a helicopter you know maybe flying around at night I, I have heard of that and uh, you know you might have a what's it called a, a laser to, um, okay, so that was my idea, so, you know, having a laser to be able to, um, there we go. a laser to be able to get the attention of uh, an airplane or uh, a boat or a car off in the distance or, you know, somebody or something, you know, off in the distance, whatever. Uh, when you're shining these things at them, don't uh, shine it directly at them. I would shine it kind of, you know, on the side. But, you know, uh, I'm not going to say that you should shine it at them because it may blind them. But if you want to get their attention, uh, I still wouldn't say shine it at them. But, you know, if it's a life or death situation... <laughs> you know, <laughs> if they start coming in your direction, you know, maybe not shine it at them. Well, I'm not even saying you should shine it at them, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so the laser thing. I was thinking that if I can make a laser type thing that plugs into my flashlight, and I've seen all these videos on YouTube lately about uh, like 200 milliwatt green lasers or whatever, you know, uh, burning stuff and, you know, cutting through, you know, black tape and plastic and stuff like that. That, uh, you know, we could probably get a license to make uh, these lasers that can actually be used to, well, number one, you know, signal airplanes and, you know, people and far away things and people and stuff. Uh, but also, if uh, they were to take this uh, laser, uh, a 200 milliwatt green laser, and, you know, aim it at, uh, you know, some grass that they have, you know, in their tinder bundle that they're getting ready to, you know, make a fire with, uh, you know, they could probably use uh, the laser to do that, uh, to set the, you know, grass tinder bundle on fire, but also to be able to get, you know, somebody's attention. But either way, even if you're out in the woods, uh, you should still bring a little laser, just in case, you know. Uh, just in case. People can see it at night, you know, from a far distance away. If you're, you know, shining it, uh, you know, really close to them, or, you know, maybe not exactly on them, but really close to them. Uh, the reason why I say this is because, uh, you know, if I ever get into money, I'd really like to be able to make a uh, machine. Oh my god. How long have I been holding on to the freaking thing? I'm sorry, people. I hope that didn't bother you too much. I know that's loud as hell and annoying as hell. Damn, I've been holding that for like fucking seven minutes or something. I hope you won't be too bothered. Okay, I'll watch the microphone now.